But tonight, we begin with the arrest of the man accused of the grisly murders of his wife and young daughter. He was finally caught after nearly three days on the run, and today, he went before a judge. Let's get right to Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay. He's live with our top story. Terrell. Two counts of first degree murder, one count of attempted first degree murder with a deadly weapon. Those are the official charges against this murder suspect and his alleged actions appear to rock even a seasoned judge inside the courtroom. Um, these are pretty truly horrific facts. Noel Chambers has been denied bond, accused of murdering his wife, 48 year old Lorise Harris and their 10 year old daughter Shayla Chambers both with a machete. The two were found dead Saturday night in the Miami Gardens apartment the family shared. It was Larissa's birthday. We've learned at least two witnesses who are neighbors heard the screams and say they saw Chambers with the machete carrying out part of the gruesome attack. The only survivor, an adult daughter, 29-year-old Shayna Lee Chambers, who suffered gashes to her face and neck. I called her let her know she's happy. You know, she's doing really, really good. Like, she's really healing. The family has since set up a GoFundMe page to help pay for costly burial expenses for that mom and daughter. Chambers, on the run for nearly three days, was found hiding behind this Miami-Dade fire station in Miami Gardens. Alert firefighters took notice and called police. I was just confirming at station 38, correct? That's correct. This is not a 315, but have them come ASAP, multiple units. These photos were snapped of officers on the scene right after Chambers was taken into custody. He was booked into jail Tuesday night. In the arrest warrant, a witness told cops she saw the victim's father, Noel Chambers, standing by her, holding a machete in an upward position. That witness heard the surviving victim begging and saying what she understood as, Master no, no master don't. Stay away from the victim. That's it. No bond. And that adult daughter remains in the hospital recovering, now listed in stable condition. But on the night of this crime, uh, Chambers was apparently in such a haste to get away that he was involved in a hit and run, according to police, not far from that crime scene. They say that he ran away and left behind that getaway vehicle that actually was a rental vehicle for his wife. Reporting live from Miami, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.